guys are tuning in and you're watching True School Sports. What was the whole sister comment he made up? Like the whole, I read that one. I was like, what in the world is going on here? Uh, my sister's dating him. So they're actually dating. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. And I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, before we get into the video, I wanted to say two things. Number one, big shout out to my shirt sponsors, Fighting Man, the Pound for Pound Kings of Boxing Apparel. If you want dope t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, other favorite fighters like the ones you see behind me with Abu Frazier, Joe Kawasaki, and many, many more, head over to fightingman.com and, and go do that. You know, add, add, as you purchase that stuff out, that'll help the content creation here on True School Sports. Second of all, um, I got some really great interviews coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. Now, getting into one of the fights that I, I, I wasn't live for this fight, but I had a chance to watch it after we did our live fight reaction, which by the way, I might add, was amazing. So thank you to all 4,000, 5,000 you plus that were live with us uh, this past week on True School Sports. But I wanted to talk about and just give my two cents on Shakur Stevenson versus Joette Gonzalez because this was a fight that, you know, at least on this channel, kind of flew under the radar because I was so focused on Taylor Progray, Granados Easter. So I'd have, I'd have really a chance to really make vi a video about this in the build up to the fight. But I'll, but let me just say this, man. Um, First and foremost, Shakur Stevenson is an absolutely exceptional talent. That much we know. I mean, I've, if you've been on this channel for the last three years, I've been, I've been championing Shakur as one of the most talented fighters in this country. Um, and in, in his first world title fight against Joette Gonzalez, you know, another guy who was highly touted prospect, you know, he went in there and he showed that he was the goods. Um, whitewashed him on my scorecard. I thought he won every round. Um, you know, I thought he pretty much controlled the fight and just showed that he was another class above Joaquin Gonzalez. Now, obviously, the fight itself was overshadowed by the storylines of all, what what people were mainly talking about, and that was the whole feud between Shakur Stevenson, Joaquin Gonzalez, and uh, the Gonzalez family because Shakur is dating his sister. Now, let me just say this: it, this this is the main idea from the for for this video. So, if you don't take nothing else from this video, please take this. Okay. Joet Gonzalez is the corniest, and I'm not, I'm not even going to put this all on Joet, but I'm going to say his dad too. Joet Gonzalez and his dad are uh, 1A and 1B, the two corniest people in all boxing because the whole time during the storyline, we're talking about how, you know, um, they don't like Shakur because, you know, he, he disrespected our family and, and you know, I've got I've to fight for my family's honor and, um, you know, if he doesn't love my sister, he doesn't respect her. Listen, bro. Okay. Listen. You can't control what your sister's going to do. All right? If she wants to be with Shakur Stevenson, whether you co-sign her or don't co-sign her, she's going to do what the hell she's going to want to do anyway. So I don't, I don't know why you and your dad wrote a check with your mouths that your ass couldn't cash against Shakur Stevenson. Because we must remember, it was not... Shakur Stevenson who called out Joet Gonzalez because quite because quite frankly Shakur Stevenson has bigger fish to fry Okay, then Joet the Joet Gonzalez of the world that that's that, that that's 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 Strike one. That's one thing we must remember. One thing we must what must remember about this fight and how it happened It wasn't Shakur that called out Joet. It was Joet that called Shakur because his machismo his pride and and and, and this 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 ridiculous pressure he put on himself to to win the honor of his family for his, his sister who that's doing her own thing regardless of whether, whether he won the fight or not you know it was completely pointless that, that's number one you know they called him out that's number one number two they made a big deal about some sort of sparring session where they, supposedly he dominated Shakur Stevenson in sparring which may or may not have, have happened because things happen in sparring all the time your favorite fighters especially like the guys um, behind me in the shirt like uh, Muhammad Ali he got dominated in sparring session Joe Kawasaki, he got dominated in sparring sessions. So it's not it's not out of the realm of possibility that maybe Joel Gonzalez had a great day of sparring against him or, or a couple of great days of sparring against him. It happens a lot more than you would think. But sparring is one thing, fighting under the lights is another, and we saw that on the night. So you call out Shakur, you made up all these things about how you beat him up in sparring, and maybe you did, but who cares? Because that was years ago, and fighters mature with time. And then... Um, and then 
basically, you, you said you were going to humble them. You said you're going to do all these things. And then on top of that, you're, um, Joel Gonzalez is from the Reno, Nevada area. And Shakur took the fight in Reno, Nevada. Like, so basically, it's, it's like he just got beat in every department. First of all, he got your sister. All right, that's number one. Second of all, he absolutely outclassed you in the ring in every department. Third of all, he made you look, look like an idiot and a buffoon. Fourth of all, he put a, a Mexican sombrero on before and after the fight, taunting you. And, um, and fifth of all, he beat you and whitewashed you for the world title in your hometown. So look, Joel Gonzalez, I wish you the best with your career. But the whole, I, I had to get this out there. The whole build up to the fight, um, from your father's end, from your end, it was the most corniest thing I've ever seen since I've had a YouTube channel covering boxing here. And, 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 and some corny things that happened in boxing since I've been on YouTube. Um, straight up, like, straight up. So, I mean, look, I hope he has a decent career. Um, but it was, it, 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 just, it, it was, it was so pointless to me. I was trying to figure out, like, I was trying to figure out why they hate Shakur Stevenson so much because, um, his sister has been on Shakur for years now, because I, I follow Shakur Stevenson. I've been following Shakur Stevenson for quite some time on social media, and I, I actually talked to Shakur and his girlfriend on Instagram Live a couple years ago, and in, in the comments, and um, you know, he, they seem they seem to like each other. They've lasted this long, and, and trust you, trust me. Speaking as somebody from this generation, if your relationship with a girl and or a woman can last longer than a year and a half to two years plus, then. You know, the, the, two, the, the two people must like each other. They must have something for each other, you know, to keep that thing going. So, you know, if they're happy, fair play to them. And hopefully, Joel Gonzalez can swallow his pride, extend his hand like a man, say, hey, look, you beat me. You were the better man of the night. I don't agree. I don't really like you. I don't agree with you, but I got to accept it because, you know, I'm not my sister. I can't control my sister. But um, it was good for Shakur Stevenson. You know, uh, he's, looking, he's looking towards potentially... Uh, fighting the Josh Warringtons of the world. I know that that's the main guy he wanted to call out. And now that he has a, a world a world championship belt around his waist, that fight should be a lot easier to make. So uh, it, it, this should be like a learning lesson, not just for Joel Gonzalez, but any fighter. Don't let your pride make you make your mouth right. Checks that your ass just can't cash. Because that, that, that's what this fight, like this fight right here is the gold standard for that in boxing. You had a guy in Joel Gonzalez that for no rhyme or reason was hating on Shakur Stevenson. And he just felt the need to call him out. He felt the need to, uh, to, to to feed into this division of his family and fight this guy right now when he clearly wasn't ready, when he had never really had that top level experience under the lights in the ring. And um, I don't know, I mean, look, it, you don't, you don't, you, you don't wanna make any snap judgments on a fighter's career. You don't wanna do these things. But this was the kind of loss, because bo boxing is very much about the spirit of man. It's about the spirit of man. It's about the, 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 you know where you are psychologically, and this is the kind of loss where Joel Gonzalez had so much personally riding on this. You know, your first world title fight, the pride of your family, um, you know, uh, wanting to beat up your your, your, your little sister's boyfriend, um, you know, fighting in your hometown. Like literally, there, there were so many things he had invested emotionally into this fight, and he literally, like, I mean, I, I'd be hard pressed to give him more than a round if that. You know, I thought I thought Shakur pretty much controlled the fight. From, from, what I, from what I had a chance to watch, and um, just not a good look for Joel Gonzalez. So yeah, man, I'm just I'm just gonna say it like it is, because on True School Sports, whether you like it or not, and whether Joel Gonzalez sees this or not, because I, I don't know watch these videos, but I know people in the boxing world talk. So look, it, listen, if you know this video, if, if you see this video, and you personally know Joel Gonzalez, send him this video so he can know. BT True School Sports. I I, I thought you guys handled this whole entire buildup and the whole situation with Jacor Stevenson extremely extremely corny. I mean the guy just whitewashed you, outboxed you, um, and you didn't have you didn't have the common decency to stay in the ring and do your post fight interview and shake his hand. So um, just you know there's fighters out there who may have the skills of a champion and they may, may have been champions of the amateurs, but when the going gets tough and Maybe they get maybe they they come up short in their fights. They don't behave like a champion, and I, I think for what we see from Joel Gonzalez at this point in his career, and from his dad at this point in his career, is that they might have some talent, and who knows? Maybe maybe, maybe they had the skills to become champions down the road, but they they're not they aren't willing to behave like a champion, and, and these things matter, and these things go a long way in boxing. So uh, I wish him the best of his career, but that, that's just my take on the fight. And congrats to Shakur Stevenson on a fantastic performance. 
and just uh, making his case known as to you know where he stood with the whole situation and just just showing that he's a he, he's a he's a fantastic fighter and that he's getting better and better with time because now he's the second uh, youngest champion in boxing behind you know the newly crowned uh, Devin Haney. So you guys make it make it that of what you will. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Joel Gonzalez, his dad walking out the ring, pouting and pouting like they were Coogan. You know, do they? Do, what, what, what did you make of this whole fight and this whole fiasco between Shakur Stevenson, Joe Gonzalez, Jahira Gonzalez, and the Gonzalez family? You know, let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me. And if you're Joe Gonzalez and his family and you see this video, you can definitely hate me. But either way, it's all love from this end. I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. My name is Rachel McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Savannah. We're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching True School Sports.